I'm sharing more about one of my favorite tools, which is a video editor called Camtasia. I've been using Camtasia now for over three years, and it is the tool that I use to film all of my YouTube tutorials because it just makes things so easy. One of the biggest advancements in Camtasia since I've been using it is Camtasia Rev. Today, I'm gonna to give you a closer look at its capabilities, including how it can target different screen sizes, optimize layouts to best suit your content, and instantly add polish with the help of AI. Before we do that, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now and I love to share what I've learned in the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you or if you find it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Be sure to check out the description too on how you can check out Camtasia for yourself. And of course, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's dive in. So we are taking a look at Camtasia. This is made by TechSmith. And so the feature that I'm highlighting today is the Camtasia rep. So if you're new to Camtasia and you've never used it before, I found it to be very easy to learn. And before no time, I felt like I had completely mastered my video editing skills because when I had started using Camtasia, I was very new to editing videos. So if I wanna start a new video, if you can see the green line, it is representing the recording screen and I always have it set to a 16 by nine dimension so that I know that it's going to be the right dimensions for a video. I have the options, it is a little bit bigger than the 19, but the dimensions are proportional. So. I have the ability to show my face if I want to, so I can turn that on and off. If I turn that on, you can see me, hello, there I am. And then I've got my Yeti mic, which is right here, that I am using to record. And then I have the ability also to turn on system audio. So if I'm showing a tutorial that has maybe a video in the background or some sort of music, it might be a good idea to turn that system audio on. The other thing that you wanna make sure that you do is to hit the Camtasia rep. So if I check that off, it's not going to have Camtasia rep turned on. If I click it on, then it will. So what does this do? So if I am just going to start by, we're gonna test things out. I'm gonna drag this over here so you can see that my screen and let me pull back up this for a second let me adjust things here if i pull this into place here we can hit the start button and then it's just going to give me a little bit of a countdown and then it's going to start recording and then i can basically just film a video i'm just testing things out for you i'm on the landing page of the Camtasia Rev. So if we wanna look at anything, the huge benefit that it gives you is the ability to target different screen sizes. So whether you're doing a vertical video, a square, wide, or whatever recording size that you wanna do, you can also have optimal layouts for your content needs so you're not stuck with one sort of template. And then you can polish it up with some AI features. So. That should be long enough for the video. I'm just gonna hit stop recording, which is at the top of my screen. And then I've got this Camtasia Rev window that has come up and I can see that I've got the recorded size. I've got the 16 by nine currently selected. I could do vertical if I wanted to. We could see that there's a background color that was put in there or I could do square. I would probably, use this 16 by nine, but if I was creating something specifically for YouTube shorts or TikTok or anything like that, I could do the vertical format. So size, I've got that selected. For layout, I've got options. So I don't have to be stuck with just the boring little square there. If I want to, you know, be super imposed over the screen and kind of like acting like a little bit of a green screen there. This layout would work for that. Now, of course, if their content that I'm showing behind there was super important, that might not be the best visual layout for that. If I wanna just be in the corner, that gives a little bit more prominence to the content on the screen. If I wanna be in the circle, we've got some rounded corners, like that's a really nice way to make a presentation video if I'm talking over something. We've got additional layouts here. I could be really big. I could be sort of picture in picture there, or I could just be at the bottom. So let's, let's try this one and then we'll move on to the background. 
If I want to add a little bit of extra color to it to jazz it up, I've got options there. I think that one was pretty cool. They've got all kinds of colors. They've got patterns as well. Moving on to the effects, if I want to do something like a cursor shadow, a cursor highlight, we've got the mask currently selected. So you can do multiples. If you click on them again, then they will turn them off. So if we wanna do a cursor highlight, we can see that my cursor is right there or a cursor scale we can include those. So the more that you click on, obviously the more that will be selected. And then let's go on to filters. So if I wanted to change the look of my video, I could add a filter to it. Not so sure that that's something that I would wanna do, but just clicking on a few so that you could see if you wanna give it a different vibe, a different mood, you could obviously do that. If you wanna turn yourself black and white, all you have to do is click on it. If you don't wanna select anything, just double click what you selected and it will turn it off. So we've got our settings selected. Let's edit this. And as you can see, we've got three different sort of tracks here. The first one here is the background. And then we've got the video screen recording that I took. And then of course my video. If I had a complaint about my video, I'm like, I'm obviously not framed in it super well. So I would want to make that adjustment. So if I click on that right there and then I can, if I click on this outside circle, that of course is going to change that circle. But I want to see if I could click on, if I make the circle smaller, then I can sort of move that around and then I could make it bigger if I want to. So just a little bit of finessing there and I can sort of recrop myself so that I fit that frame a little bit better. The same would be true for the screen recording that I took if you needed it to be smaller. If you really wanted to make sure that it was shown with all the details, so maybe we pull that to the side, we could even shrink our face just a little bit to get maximum. So you can, you can continue to make adjustments from that initial selection that you've done. So once everything was perfect, the way that you wanna set it up, you could scrub through it just to make sure that everything looked the way that you wanted it to. So that is the power of Camtasia Rev. Editing the video is so easy because all you have to do, I've learned all the quick keys. If you need to cut something out, you know, it's just as easy as Command T, then you can do another break and then you can make all of these segments and clips and you can refine your video as you need to. So I love Camtasia. I've been using it, like I said, for over three years now, and I'd love to hear what you think. If you want to check Camtasia out for yourself, be sure to check out the description and find out how you can get started. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.